Hi guys, so what I truly find sickening is when politicians will do a photo op and then vote against the very thing that they're pretending to care about. Now this video has been doing the rounds on social media. It's of a Tory MP, her name is Natalie Efelik. You may or may not be familiar with her name, but you've probably heard some of the crap that she's said recently and done in the recent past as well. Anyway, she visited a food bank, something the Tories have been helping to grow since they've been in power. Anyway, this is what she said. Christmas is a time of giving and some organisations and people in our community give all year round. One of those organisations is the Dover Food Bank, which I'm visiting today. It's really easy to get involved and help the Dover Food Bank. You can look online at the items that they need and you can find out where to drop them off to. The sorts of things they need at the moment are the sorts of things I have in my box. So long life milk, porridge, biscuits, squash, and I've put in a couple of toys for the children as well. It's really important that we support each other in our community. Let's all play our part. Thank you to everyone for all you do at the Dover Food Bank. And let's carry on supporting each other in 2022. This is pretty much like an arsonist <laughs> returning to the, 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 the smouldering pile and suggesting people chip in to help out. Anyway, this is her uh, visiting the Dover Food Bank and I have nothing against the Dover Food Bank. You know, people in Dover, they should support the food bank if they can. Uh, but this is a consequence. Their food bank usage is a consequence of Tory policies. Something that she is part of. She is part of the problem. She is the arsonist here, okay? Her party are the arsonists and they're asking people to chip in to help rebuild uh, whatever was burnt down by them. This is disgraceful behavior. It's disgusting. It's a complete disconnect from reality. Th this, this party is responsible for the rise in food banks. Now let's have actually a look at the rise in food banks. We can see here, this is the number of emergency parcels uh, sent out by just one trust okay this is not um this is not representative of all food banks the number of uh, parcels released by all food banks if we had all of the data would be much higher but you can see here back in 2008 2009 just before the tories came into power um there were 25000 emergency food parcels sent out in 2020 2021 there were 2.5 million 25,000 to 2.5 million because of Tory policies. Now, what about this lady herself, Natalie? How did she vote on these things? So she pretends to care about poor people. She cares about people going without food. Look, we don't want people struggling, so we need to help them out. Well, how did she vote recently? This is the free school meals uh, motion that was sent through Parliament at the beginning of this year. And you can see here, 321 MPs voted against it. Well, was Natalie one of those MPs or did she stand up and say, no, I'm against uh, poor people going hungry? No, she wasn't. She voted along with her party, okay? So why would you vote to, make, to take away free school meals and then go and appear at a food bank and ask people to chip in. Well, you probably heard about her before. This is from the BBC. It says here, Marcus Rashford, Dover MP, Natalie Efelik apologizes over penalty comments. You probably heard this before. Um, it says here, conservative MP has apologized after suggesting Marcus Rashford should have spent more time perfecting his game. Remember he missed a penalty rather than playing politics. Who the heck is playing politics here? This person, Natalie, going to a food bank, a food bank that exists because of her party's policies and asking people to help out. This is disgraceful behavior. I'm sorry that I'm shouting. I'm sorry that I'm animated here, but this really pisses me off. Food banks should not exist. There should be no food banks. Because if one food bank exists, it means government is not functioning right. And I'm not focusing here on the UK government. I'm f anywhere. If, as long as there is one food bank in existence, 
that means government is not working and government needs to fix the problem. Why should we have a government if it doesn't look after its citizens? What is the point of a government if we have to, uh, we have to ask the public to do the job of government? Jacob Rees-Mogg thinks this is uplifting and this is beautiful. This is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. It should not exist. And the fact that a freaking Tory MP who was criticising Marcus Rashford for doing exactly the same thing as she is doing now. Although the, the difference here, of course, is that he meant it. You didn't. You don't mean this. I don't believe once for one second that you care about these people. Because if you did, you would have friggin' voted against uh, for uh, this motion. You wouldn't have voted against it. You wouldn't have voted with your party. You would have stood up and said, no, I actually care about these people. I'm going to make sure that they get their free school meals. Charlatans. Charlatans. And I hope people see this. And I hope she gets kicked out at the next election. Sorry, guys, for shouting. and Sorry about my attitude here. But this has to stop. Let me know in the comments section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.